Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here, bringing you this video tonight from Jerusalem in Israel on the 24th of December 2023, which is of course Christmas Eve. So at the opening, let me wish a very Merry Christmas to those who are celebrating, both here in Israel and elsewhere in the world. As has been reported in the media, this Christmas is a little bit subdued here in the Holy Land slash Israel on account of the ongoing war in Gaza, but there was a little bit of Christmas spirit in Jerusalem today with streets lit up and I even managed to see a few Santa hats roaming about town. I recorded a video earlier today talking pretty much ad lib to the webcam and then I edited that down to a video, which is kind of a new format that I thought was a little bit fun to do. I talked about basically um, my feelings as someone who considers myself to be pretty pro-Israel, a Jewish immigrant in Israel, regarding the spiraling death toll from the Gaza Strip and how I personally feel about that. I'm not going to go back over the entire video, but if you want to view that, check out my previous upload from today. And in the same spirit, I thought I'd give another kind of hot take and then edit it down regarding why I think that a lot of Israelis are very angry regarding the International Committee of the Red Cross at the moment, better just known as the Red Cross, and why I think that anger is a little bit misplaced. The Red Cross is, according to its website, um, a body who, the work of the IRCRC is based on the Geneva Conventions of 1949, their additional protocol statues and those of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement. The ICRC, the International Committee of the Red Cross, is an independent and neutral organization ensuring humanitarian protection and assistance for victims of armed conflict and other situations of violence. It takes action in response to emergencies and at the same time promotes respect for international humanitarian law and its implementation in national law. Israelis are super pissed off at the Red Cross now because for those who missed the news, after the October 7th atrocities in which more than 3,000 Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad and other Islamic uh, terrorists entered Israel in order to kill, rape and behead as many Israeli citizens as possible, more than 200 Israelis were taken into captivity in Gaza. Those Israelis taken in captivity ranged from little young children through to elderly people with severe medical conditions, including chronic medical conditions. And at the time of October 7th or the day after, more than 200 Israelis were taken into captivity and held in the Gaza Strip, taken there through literally being dragged on motorcycles into Gaza. Following the Israeli Hamas uh, prisoner exchange deal, about 100 Israelis were free, but that still means that about 140 Israelis remain held captivity in Gaza. Although I have to note that that number is slightly declining as time goes on due to the revelations very, very tragically that some Israelis have been murdered while held in captivity in Gaza in the time that has transpired since October 7th. Israelis are super angry at the Red Cross for not doing more to deliver essential medication to those Israeli hostages who depended on daily medication. And some of those elderly people who were dragged from Kibbutzim around the uh, Gaza periphery into Gaza on October 7th and the day after that are dependent on medication. There was even one case of one hostage, Alma Avraham, who was ba barely alive at the time of her release from Hamas activity back into Israel and have to be, had to be airlifted for essential treatment at Israeli hospital. And at the time of her release, he was in a critical condition. Responding to the Israeli allegations that it hasn't done enough for the hostages, the Red Cross has said that as a neutral organization, it's kind of just an intermediary and it can't magically coerce Hamas to reveal the location of the hostages in Gaza. So even if it wants to visit the hostages and provide them with the very, very bare minimum of humanitarian visits, it's not actually able to do so. That makes actually total sense from the strategic perspective because from Hamas's perspective, the hostages are basically their pawn cards they're using to negotiate with Israel to release Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails. As a general trend, I would say that Israelis tend to be really skeptical of multilateral international organizations due to the extreme bias of the UN or certain organs of the UN against Israel. So when people think about the ICRC, it tends to be lumped into that kind of category of hostile multilateral organizations. And that reputation really isn't helped by the fact that as the recent appointment of new director general highlights, there is indeed a big crossover between the staff of the International Committee of the Red Cross and UNRWA, among other different UN organizations.
I think that Israelis have a lot to be angry about at the moment. Firstly, against the Hamas terrorist organization for the barbaric, horrific attacks, almost without precedent, that were committed on October 7th, but also against the international community for large sections of it who were very, very quick to prejudge Israel for the alleged commission of war crimes, ethnic cleansing, genocide, and other, other absolutely baseless allegations following those attacks and which have generally displayed immense hostility towards Israel and the Jewish state. However, in the rush to find bogeymen, I think that the ICRC is an innocent victim. It is, after all, in a very precarious position. Despite the fact that it operates in the Gaza Strip, I don't think that it has personally the ability to magically wave a wand and find the Israeli hostages and give them the medication and the attention that Israel is demanding. So I think that it's kind of a bit of a straw man argument to say that the ICRC has been incredibly anti-Israel, when really it's been attempting to do a job, but it's pretty much rendered impossible by the realities on the ground in Gaza. I of course hope that the ICRC gains access to the Israeli hostages remaining alive in the Gaza Strip as soon as possible, but given that that is dependent on the whims of the Hamas terrorist organization who have re revealed themselves to be absolute animals, my expectation of that is really, really very modest. Better than the hostages getting visits from the Red Cross, of course, would be them actually getting released and brought back to Israel. But what we've learned so far in this conflict is that the only language that Hamas and their captors understand in Gaza is a language of force. And I think it's going to take a lot more firepower from Israel in order to bring them to even get to the negotiation table again. That's my hot take on the ICRC, although I remain pretty neutral about the organization overall. I think that a lot of the ire from the Israeli side directed to them has been kind of misplaced. There is a lot to be angry about, but I think 99.9% .9 of the anger resides against Hamas for the atrocities it committed and continues to commit against Israeli citizens. Thanks for watching today's second video. If you want to get more hot takes from me about life in Israel and everything related to the conflict, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and until the next video.